How's it going everybody? It's me, David, here for another shave. And today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a showcase of a brand new razor that was just released. It's not a brand new design, but it's a new uh, finish, so to speak. Uh, a new metal uh, from what it was released previously before. Today, we're going to be doing a video. Well, you probably already know because you've seen the opening pictures that I usually put up. But today, I'm going to be using the Copper Double Open Comb. Ascension by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements at phoenixshaving.com. So the deal with this razor here, it is a full machined razor. This particular razor here is made out of a copper silver alloy. I'm no expert in metalworks and none of that stuff, but uh, but um, according to what I'm reading, copper in itself is a soft metal, making it a little bit more probably prone to breaking if you drop these, especially with the little, all the teeth and stuff. Probably a little bit of an issue you could snap off it too. So this was made out of uh, copper silver alloy, which makes it a bit stronger. After that, it is electroplated with a copper finish. This copper finish will maintain its color. It will not oxidize. So what you're seeing right now, fresh out of the box, is what you're going to get every single time. You don't have to worry about it, it patinaing black, green, or whatever the hell else color that it may patina. In this razor today, I'm going to be using a fresh Gillette Silver Blue, which is, it goes back and forth between my first and second favorite razor that I use. So, I didn't even get my soaps up. I got the razor in and I got excited and, and per the usual, I just uh, hurried up and brought it out. So, I'm going to go ahead and heat up my water here. There we go. Very nice. I can soak my brush. And what brush am I going to use today? Well, I have a lot of hair today, so I want something that's going to be a little scrubby. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of growth going on. This is about a week. About a week's worth of growth. So for me, it's, it's pretty significant. I know for some of you animals, it's not much, but for me, it's pretty good. So and then I'm going to go, go ahead and use Saponificio Veracino. I'm going to use the Stella Alpina. This was a gift from my buddy, uh, Zach Likes to Shave. I know his last name, but I don't know how to say it. Hold, hold, hold. H-O-U-L-D, yeah. That's my buddy. He gifted this for my birthday last year or the year before. It's been a minute. Fantastic, just bright scent. SV is one of the best soaps there is out there. I do believe it's a vegan formula. Don't quote me on that. And it's probably one of the best vegan formulas out on the market. Scratch that. It's one of the best formulas, period. I know every time SV releases a soap, it always says beta something point something. Um, so I don't know if they're con that means they're constantly changing their formula. But this one in particular um, is has been my favorite. It's the easiest to lather. I think it has the most consistent lather and it just performs fantastic. It's just one of the best things you can use. So <sighs> That smells fantastic. So I went ahead and... and uh, Soaked my board brush. This is the Samog, is it 630, 620, something like that? In my opinion, the best board brush on the market. As you guys, well, so most of you will know, I would imagine, if you're watching this. But if you don't, uh, board brushes are are significantly less, expen more, uh, less expensive than badger brushes. Uh, this one being, in my opinion, the best ba uh, board brush I've ever used. It is somewhere, I think, in the $30 range. A lot of board brushes also use a very high loft. I don't have a big face like that, so those like 58 uh, millimeter lofts don't really work for me. Not 54, uh, like 59, 58 millimeter lofts. Still not, uh, even up to like 70. As you can see, great. I'm gonna go and throw a little water on my face. Hmm. Normally I would soak my brush a bit longer, but since it started soaking and while I'm already recording the video, kinda have to hurry up. I suppose I could pause it and then push play, but I'm already in the flow, so we're just going to get right into it. 
So I've used the original double open comb razor. That was a zinc alloy. I have used the stainless steel double open comb and that wasn't the Ascension version. That was just the, the, the regular uh, version. And now this is the Ascension. It's gonna be my first use with the Ascension uh, design. The difference between the uh, Ascension and the traditional one is this one, you could actually turn the hand, loosen the handle slightly without making the head wiggle. See, no head wiggle. And it'll actually increase the blade gap. So you could slightly dial in if you want something a little bit more aggressive or a little bit more mild. I'm going to go with it all the way closed to see how I feel. And if I don't feel that it's a uh, aggressive enough for my liking, which I don't need a significantly aggressive razor, um, but I like a little heavy medium. I'm not a huge fan of mild razors, so we're going to test it out. So here we go. First use with the copper double uh, open comb ascension by Phoenix Shade. little mile for my liking so i'm going to rinse this and go ahead and people that were big fans of the original double open comb ah uh, yeah there you go people that were a fan of the original double open comb liked it because of its mildness very mild razor very easy to use a razor that if you have If you have mild, uh, mild. If you have sensitive skin, it's definitely a, a great razor to use. With that double open comb design, it really rinses out the hair that has been stuck in good. Man, a lot of hair. Now, I can't tell you the blade gap difference. There's no setting. You just kind of have to open it up to your liking. So it's an adjustable without the dial. Which is a little bit weird for me because then I, I think if you find a spot that you really like, you may struggle with getting that consistent shave every time. Oh. Add a little water to my face, let it so I can pass. Again, when I rinse, I don't try to uh, take off all the, the, the soap that was left over. I just like to add some fresh water to the face. I like how the lather picks back up when it picks up that little bit of water. I do find that more brushes can be a little bit more finicky. So if you do go over the top with some water, um, you could kill your lather. That's just been my experiences. Yours might be different, but you know. So, I'm about, what, two weeks late, I think, but finally seeing Avengers Endgame. Really good movie. I enjoyed it, but I had, had to, I'd have to say, I think it's a little overhyped. Like, people have, I've heard a lot of people actually say that it's the best movie they've ever seen. I enjoy it. I like it. But it wasn't the greatest movie I've ever seen. That's just not the case. Again, really like it. I think it was well done. The battle scenes, the effects, I thought they were pretty damn good. But to say the best movie ever, no. No, no, no. Not even close. So, this razor here is not as mild 
as the original double open comb and it is nowhere near as aggressive as the stainless steel double open comb. That stainless steel double open comb was extremely aggressive. And I'm not afraid of using really aggressive razors, but I don't have very thick hair. I don't have dense hair growth. So it's really overkill for me to use something that aggressive. This is a nice, happy medium. I really think Douglas has done a great job reviving these old razor designs that we wouldn't be able to use unless we want to go on eBay, find an old original version of these designs, and probably pay a ridiculous amount, like the Fasan. And I believe the original double open comb was a, a King Razor, something like that, something with King. And for those of us that don't have the funds, or just the time to go hunting for something like that, it's a great resource. And it's, and it's a great shaving experience. I've liked all of his razor designs. Again, the uh, stainless steel double open comb was too aggressive for my liking, uh, but I did love the original, just a little too mild. And this one is a nice medium. This is probably the one most enjoyable time I've had with one of the double open combs. The Bakelite Slant. The open comb one, which I think was based off of a facade. Don't quote me on that, I believe so. Um, I love that razor. Rocio actually took that razor from me. It's her favorite razor for her shaving needs. And even the Alpha Ecliptic, I thought it was one of the ugliest razors I've ever seen in my life, but it shaved awesome. Yo, well, actually, here it is. I used it recently the other day. Ugly as can be. This is, an, this is a hideous razor. I, I'm sorry, it's, it's ugly. But it shaves really well. I used it, uh, I don't know, a week and a half ago, something like that. Whenever the last time I shaved, the last time I shaved was like with that razor. Very nice. Yeah. So even though my my lather looked pretty shitty right now, the SV still leaves a lot of slickness. So I had no issue with that last one. Let me rinse my face and we'll give the frozen back. Cool. So, final thoughts on this razor? Kicks ass. My opinion is the best double open comb um, he has released. I do know there was a another version, I guess a regular, maybe aluminum. This is not the first Ascension that he's released. I didn't use that one. This one in particular, I love the weight of the razor. It is not overly heavy. I felt no fatigue in the hand, the arm, um, which can happen with some of the bigger, bulkier stainless steel razors. This one, it works great. The aggressiveness of it fits my preference um not aggressive not mild probably in the if this is a scale this is really aggressive this is really mild this is that this is that medium i'm towards the higher end of the medium um so i do like those those medium high uh, aggressive razors and this just fits perfectly to it um i did loosen up the cap a little bit on it not a whole lot just literally maybe an an eighth of a turn if that makes sense i guess Kind of, sort of, maybe. Uh, well, hopefully you guys understand. But again, if you do get yourself one of the double open comb Ascension razors, play with it, see what fits you. Anything with adjustability, I love the fact that it is a versatile razor. It could fit multiple people's needs. This definitely, I like it. I really do like it. Um, this was sent to me for the purpose of this review. Doesn't affect my thoughts on it. Um, again, I've told Douglas when I don't like stuff. I tell him when I do love stuff. 
Um, and I've tested a lot of products for a lot of people on a public and a, on a personal level. And I try to keep it real with them. This one's a winner. This one's my favorite. If it sucked, I tell him. Just like he didn't like it when I told him my alpha ecliptic was hideous. I told him this shit is ugly. And he wasn't fond of that, that comment, but I told him it was ugly. Um, this is the best um, iteration. This is the best version of the double open comb, in my opinion. Um, take that as you will. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. Um, some people might feel exactly the way I do. Um, this was a version that... Um, I don't know if he's going to send this to other people to test out. Um, I don't know if I'm maybe just sending this one. I did not purchase it. Um, I had to put some, I had to invest some money in my vehicle recently. A whole lot of money that I didn't expect to nor want to. But um, so I wouldn't, I wasn't able to purchase it. So I asked him if he'd send me one to, to test out and to review. And he did. And again, it's ballsy when people are willing to send out their products for testing because, um, my integrity is not worth lying to you guys. So, again, everything's your mileage may vary, but it's a nice finish. Good looking razor. Unique. There's nothing else on the market that even looks near like this. Um, I think Yaki was making some. One of those Chinese companies were making a version, but um, if I can go with an American-made company, I will. I am one of those people that actually will spend more money to go American uh, than go Chinese to pay less. Um, I don't buy a whole lot of products anymore because I can't afford them. But if I'm gonna buy some some hardware, I rather make it. So I rather get something that'll last in your lifetime. And um, this looks like it'll last forever. The machine is fantastic. So thank you again, Douglas. Thank you guys for watching to this point. As usual, I do appreciate you for joining me for the entirety of this video. And I'll catch you on the next shape.